Welcome to Mr. Guessy TV. Now guys, this is my match day vlog. Today we take on Wolves in Wolverhampton at the Molyneux Stadium. Now guys, I'm going to take you guys with me today. I'm so, so excited for this game. Um, basically, I'm in Derby right now because obviously I'm at university here and we're going to get the train to Wolves um, and then go to the game and I'm so, so buzzing for this. Um, my last Chelsea away game was actually Burnley away. Um, so yeah, it feels like it's been ages. I just can't wait to go back in the away end and sing loud and proud for my boys. I can't wait. Exciting times. Um, my score prediction for this game is... Well, my heart's saying... 1-1, one, one, a draw, um, but my mind's saying a 2-1 Chelsea win, so let's hope we can get all three points, and even better if we keep a clean sheet, um, so let's go, I'll take you guys all with me, don't forget to hit that big thumbs up if you enjoy this vlog, and let's go. Now guys, unfortunately, the weather's not great, it's raining, which is typical, especially when you're going on a away day, I really hope it stops raining soon, um, but I am actually going to get a taxi to the train station, um, yeah, because it's, it's not great, so taxi then the train, so let's go. Where do you go when you're young, when you're restless, when you're fun, cause you're desperate, oh. And then William Hazard and Marat. Um, so, great team lineup, really strong. Great to see Ruben Lost Cheek in the start and 11 tonight. I'm really happy about that. Um, yeah, especially after his goal at the weekend. It's just great to see him get a Premier League start. Let's hope to see Marat um, score some goals. Yeah, bring on the game. I'm really excited. I'll keep you all up to date. Bye. All right, guys, I'm in the Chelsea away end. So, what's your score predictions? And pretty much, what's uh, uh, my, my score prediction? I think, well, I think it's going to be a close one. I think it's going to be. I think it'll be 2-1 to us, or yeah. they'll nick a 2-all draw. Yeah. Um, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit worried because they've been in bad form and when we play against teams in bad form, yeah. it's, ne it's not good for us. No, no. It's very ironic that. Yeah. <laughs> my heart's saying 1-1, one, one, but my mind's saying 2-1, so yeah, yeah. fingers crossed. What's your thoughts on Ruben Loftus Cheek starting tonight? I'm, I'm, well happy. I'm well happy with that. He had a great performance against Fulham, especially with the goal he scored. Yeah. I'm well happy that he's managed to get into the squad. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully he stays there. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. Yeah. Thoughts on Morata starting tonight? Uh, I think if it, I, I think it's probably the best option. Start Morata tonight, then you've got Giroud, fresh and ready for the city. Yeah, I yeah. think that's the best option. Yeah, and obviously I know it's like stepping ahead a little bit. We haven't even played this yeah. game yet, but how you feeling about the city of the weekend? <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> Let's just say I'm feeling very, very nervous. About yeah, it. yeah. It's gonna be a bit crazy. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for coming no on. Thank you.
game. It's a really intense second half. I'm really scared that Wolves are going to score. And um, we are playing well, don't get me wrong, but we're not taking our chances. The Rats missed a few times. We will keep on going. Can they really score? We're getting there. I just really hope that we can go 2 0 because if not, we're going to catch us out and score. So we're going to have to start playing more pressure. Because if not, we're going to catch us out. That can't happen. And um, yeah, still 1 0. it's half 12 and I've just got back from Wolves um, I'm back in Derby now well I feel so sad after that game guys like literally I've been sad since the game finished um let's just quickly have a little match view I suppose um so obviously in the first half we we dominated we did pretty well I mean we took the 1-0 lead with Ruben Lotus cheeks goal in the 18th minute of the game. What a goal it was. I was so happy for him. To see him on the team sheet tonight as well was so good. It was great to see. Um, so, yeah, great goal. Um, and I thought this is going to be our night. Like, we, we can do this. Um, and then, obviously, that changed very quickly because, obviously, um, Wolves got two goals back. Um, and, obviously, the game ended 2-1. In around the 60th minute of the game, I said we need to sharpen up or Wolves are going to score and a few minutes after I said that they went and did that like it was so so upsetting to see and I mean when you can you, when you watch your team really struggling and not being able to break down another side as a fan watching that from the stands you just feel nothing but frustration all you want is your team to get that, that goal and yeah, oh, it'd have been amazing if we'd got all three points. But all of us Chelsea fans actually expected in the end was at least a point, like a 2-2 draw. Um, but to get a 2-1 was just so sad, especially after the first half. I personally felt there was a lot of errors there tonight. Um, and I have said this in many previous videos. It's The cracks are starting to show. The cracks are starting to be exposed. Now we're coming up against better sides. Now, some people might say, yeah, Wolves aren't that good. They've only come up from the Championship this season, the 13th in the table. Well, wow. But you can turn around and say, but they've done really well against all big teams this season. And the Beatles, for crying out loud, like, it's... They're doing all right. So, at the end of the day when we're getting put up against these tests inside that are set up very well and statistically we struggle. I mean, looking at, I was particularly focusing on um, in the last like 10 minutes of the game, I was just looking when we were trying to get that last goal just to get a 2-2 draw, I was looking at the Wolves lineup and I was thinking, they're really set up here. Like you could you could just see how organised they were and they had a game plan. You could tell that they knew exactly what they were doing. The manager had probably said to them at half time, right, if we take the lead, what I want you to do is just park the bus. Like there was no chance that any of our players were gonna get the ball in the back of the net in that last ten minutes of the game because it was impossible. We couldn't make <coughs> any space or we just couldn't get through the defence it was so solid and it made all the Chelsea fans really suffer in the stands it was horrible to watch but it is what it is we move on um the thing is though like I really want to move on on high hopes saying come on bro oh sorry 
come on boys, let's do this, let's move on. But, it's City at the weekend, yes, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, how are you supposed to have any hope after tonight? You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, got to try and stay optimistic, but it's hard to, especially after that game, that result. But as I said, it is what it is, and we move on. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, come subscribe. Let me know down below all your match thoughts. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm speechless. I really don't know what to say. Um, but yeah, like, we've just got to move forward with our heads held high, I suppose, and move on to the next game. And just let's hope we learn from our mistakes. Um, but yeah, and I know it wasn't the best vlog because obviously we lost. Um, I don't know if I've ever done a vlog where we have lost. So yeah, it's not great. I don't even really want to watch it back after I've edited it, to be honest. I'm too sad about it. But yeah, we move on to City Away at the weekend. City at home, sorry, at the weekend. Up the channels. Thanks.